Hi, and welcome to this lecture on the execution architecture. Now, in this lecture, I'll try to um, describe what an execution architecture is, as opposed to, say, a conceptual architecture or implementation architecture. I'll try and uh, describe what an execution architecture enables. Now, what, what do you do with it? What, what, what can it do that is not done somewhere else? Um, we'll look at the elements that are, that are that it identifies and the notation used to identify them. We'll also look at aggregating components into, um, uh, sorry, aggregating objects into components of the different varieties. And uh, last, we'll have a look at evaluating an execution architecture. There's no good just writing one and just saying, yeah, it's okay, you really ought to evaluate it. Now, you already know, you've already done the architecture context, which is a model of the, um, the intended system without any, any realistic constraints. Uh, you've assumed you've got infinite resources, you've assumed that the uh, system will respond immediately. So you're not dealing with any particular constraints. Now, with the execution architecture, we have to consider those constraints. Now, part of the job of an execution architecture is to transfer that theoretical model into a computer system with you know, some of the things that that enables and some of the things that it, that it restricts. Uh, for example, um, although computers are, are quite flexible, um, suddenly you have to start differentiating between users, that is, things outside the system such as users, and uh, their interface into the system. So we have to have some sort of a representation of users to get into the system. Similarly, um, the practicalities of uh, trying to get access to data simultaneously or serving um, a large number of uh, potential users and performance considerations, uh, as well as such uh, problems as um, uh, control and coordination within the system. So there are, there are some things that make it a computer system and some things that work as computer systems, and we have to deal with those kind of things. Uh, we try to preserve the essential characteristics of the system. Obviously, it has to do what it was intended to do. Uh, we can't um, implement something that, that is completely uh, well away from what was, uh, what was intended. Now, that implies that possibly um, we might strike a case where um, a, a system that we want to implement simply can't be implemented because the technology is just not up to it. I haven't found too many of them, but it's possible. When you're doing a system architecture, a execution architecture, there are several decisions that have to be made. And uh, as far as I can tell, there are about three major ones. Um, the first is how are you going to aggregate the functionality into subsystems and components? So you've got these, this uh, previously loose connection of things um, that in the conceptual architecture didn't need to be connected together. Now we have to connect them together. Um, you now, part of the reason for that is to consider the um, uh, communication between them all. Um, so that comes into considerations. Second thing uh, that gets resolved largely in the execution architecture is how you resolve the competing um, system quality concerns. These are things like uh, performance and availability and security, testability, usability, and modifiability. Um, and uh, one more recent one is the scalability. These things tend to be resolved in the execution architecture. Uh, not completely settled, but uh, largely resolved. And um, something else that comes in the execution architecture is the overall structure of the system, um, the, the main architectural pattern. And this, this is things like, well, are you going to do a model view control, or is it going to be um, uh, microservices architecture or pipes and filters, what is it going to be? This is some of the things, these are some of the things you have to settle on and decide uh, in doing the architecture. So with that, we'll get started on it, shall we?